everyone, welcome back to Twister Sister Studios. I'm Holly the Twister Sister and today I'm going to show you how to make a crawdad or crayfish out of balloons. Uh, growing up in Ohio we used to find what we would call crawdaddies in the rivers and I'm not sure if it's the same crustacean but you could even make this into a lobster. If you need a lobster design it would work for that as well. So whatever you want to call this it's something like that. For this design, you're gonna need three red 260s, although the third one is optional. You could get away with just using two. And then I also have a white five inch round that we're gonna use for his big googly eyes. And then of course you wanna make sure you have a pump, some scissors and markers to finish it off with. I'm gonna start off with my first red 260 and I'm just gonna put about six pumps of air in here. Let a little bit out before you tie it off. And we're gonna start off, this is gonna be a very cartoonish looking character, okay? So we're gonna start off with some big juicy lips. <laughs> so just fold your balloon over to make a little loop. Grab that knot and roll that into your twist. Pull that nozzle through your loop so that the loop is locked in place. We're gonna make another loop the same size for his two little crawfish lips. There we go. All right, now coming back on his body, we're gonna do a three bubble body. So I'm gonna do about uh, palm's length, I guess, for the bubbles. So we're gonna do the same size bubble coming back, twist that up into his mouth, and then one more bubble coming back down. It can be the same size, so we're just gonna measure that off, and then we're gonna roll it on through to lock it in place. Okay. Now here you have a couple of options. If you want some more stability on your design, you could put two pinch twists here to help keep the tail perfectly nice and straight. Um, but if you don't mind it wagging around like this, those are maybe optional. So let's go ahead and put the two pinch twists here so you can just see. So just small little bubbles, there's one. But if doing two pinch twists right beside each other makes you nervous, you can have a more floppy-tailed crawfish. All right, so once we have our two pinch twists, I'm gonna line everything up so that on the body of our crawfish, I've got two bubbles on top and the third one is going along the bottom by itself, okay? We've got the lips straightened up and the pinch twist are one on top of the other, so the rest of our balloon is coming straight back. All right, here we're gonna make just a single bubble, maybe three inches or so, and then we're gonna do a triangle. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is kind of eyeball how much balloon I have left here and squeeze it out a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do is make a pinch twist. So one little pinch twist here. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and then we're going to try to get three equal lengths uh, for the remaining part of our balloon. So just divide this into three. So you have three bubbles here. They're just about the same size. And we're gonna come out to the end of our last bubble here. And I'm just gonna pinch off one tiny, <laughs> one tiny little bubble right here at the end. There we go. Da, da, da. Okay, I'm gonna take this tiny little bubble and we're gonna bring it in to that pinch twist. And we're gonna line these up again so that we have the little bubble on the bottom and the pinch twist on the top so that he has a nice flat kind of fanned out looking tail, okay? Now, my uh, balloon, as you can see, I use the entire length of it all the way to the very, very end. If yours doesn't come out perfectly, um, with you know having the exact right amount of air in there and everything that's okay <laughs> i did put four pinch twists on here which are optional so you could have left out these pinch twists if you're running into space problems with your balloon and this also kind of works pretty good with just having one pinch twist on the tail because then his tail kind of comes up like that and you can see it more when you're looking from the front. So there are options here if you're um, struggling with getting everything to come out the exact right way. You can fudge a few things around if you need um, some more flexibility on the space for this balloon. But if you did get it or if you 
had extra left over, you can cut that off. Or if you need to tie in another balloon, feel free to do that too. There's no shame in that. So I'm gonna get my next red balloon and I've inflated it about the same amount, about six pumps. Let a little bit out before you tie it off. All right, and now we're gonna do his claw. Grab your hands, okay. So I'm gonna do a, about a two to three inch bubble. I'm gonna fold my balloon over and I'm gonna make a larger bubble here. That will give us, when we bring these together, it's gonna curve this longer bubble over and kind of give us a nice shape for the claw. So I'm gonna take that knot, pull it on through to lock it in place. Okay, so there's one little crabby claw arm. All right, now if you want, again, more control over the claws and the positioning of everything, you can put pinch twist. So I'm gonna do little pinch twist. There's a small round bubble. Pinch and twist. And I'm gonna do two, otherwise he's gonna have a very sharp bend here. Um, which maybe that's a look that you want, but if you want it to be more straight, then you need to put a second pinch twist right there. And that way you can get the pinch twist on either side of your balloon, and that will hold everything nice and straight. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze everything out a little bit. What we're gonna do is get our lobster or crawfish body, and you can see the two bubbles we put on top for the back and then the one bubble on the bottom. We're gonna take our second 260 here. It's gonna slide right in between your back bubbles and your front bubbles. So just bring it on through however long you want his little arms to be. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna twist this balloon in the middle. That way we'll be able to kind of position those arms a little bit more freely from each other with that twist in the middle of them, okay? So we've got one little arm. You can kind of see them coming together now. We're gonna do the same thing for the other arm going back down the other side. So get yourself another arm about the same size. I'm gonna do two pinch twists. So two small bubbles. There's one and the second one, pinch twist. And now we're just gonna finish it off with another claw. So I'm gonna do the longer bubble first, I guess. And then we'll bring this down, we'll make a shorter bubble. You can see the size difference. Then we're gonna twist this into our two pinch twist. I guess that would be like at his wrist. And then whatever you have left here, we can get rid of the extra and just wrap that remaining tail around a few times to hide it and tuck it away. Look at how cute, it's already making me hungry for red lobster. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my white five inch round now and we're just gonna put a little bit of air in here, maybe the size of my palm. Go ahead and tie that off and we're gonna do the eyes that I do all the time. <laughs> so you're gonna take the nozzle, get that right between your thumbs and then you're gonna twist your hands in opposite directions. Try to get two even or close to even uh, balls here. We're gonna take that underneath his lips, roll them up to the top, just like that. Now he's got some characters and that's so cute. Okay, now the third 260 that I have here is for some little Antenna details. I don't know if they're called antennas on these animals. I should look these things up before I start making tutorials, but I never think through everything that I'm gonna say, and so I don't realize that I'm gonna talk about their antennas. But anyway, we're gonna put a puff of air in our 260 just to fill it up. And then I'm gonna slide my hand down just a little bit, make it a little shorter, and tie that off. Now I'll have some cute little stick up antenna things. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the excess close to that knot. I'm gonna find the middle point of this balloon here. We're gonna take the middle. I'm gonna place the middle of this just right behind his eyes, and I'm gonna find the nozzle from that white balloon. We're gonna bring that nozzle straight back in between those antennas. That's gonna lock it in without us having to twist those antennas in, and then they're gonna fly out anyway. This will hold them in and they're gonna stick up nice and straight. So then we, all we have to do is take our white balloon and just secure it back inside of our body and tuck it up back in the head, wherever you can get it secure, okay? 
And then that's also great because if you do happen to get your antennas in there and then you see like, oh, we have a wonky one, <laughs> then it's really easy to just slide them back out so that you can even them up again. Okay, so that's an easier way to do antennas. And the way I used to do, I would try to like wrap this up and twist it around the eyeballs and then they'd want to go like forward and back instead of side to side. So this is the new way I'm doing antennas in situations where I'm able to do so. If you want to, you can give his arms a little bend, like for an elbow, and just play with the positioning of his claws and arms so that you can get him positioned the exact way that you want him to be, okay? So that is our basic body for our crawfish, crawdad, lobster guy. Um, you may notice he doesn't have six legs because uh, that would just take extra time. You could for sure add legs to this. I would probably do it the same way we did the antennas, but just have six of them on the bottom. But we are in a balloon shortage, and so anywhere we can save some balloons um, that we don't absolutely need to use them, I think is a good thing. And I really don't think that this design absolutely needs the legs. Unless you have a very picky little customer who's like, where's his legs? And you're like, oh, I forgot. Let me put them on for you real quick. <laughs> um, so then all that's left to do is to draw the eyes on. Ta-da! There we go. <laughs> so that is it. Pretty quick for a nice little lobster looking crawfish guy. Only two fully inflated red balloons and then a white five inch round which really doesn't count and a scrap which doesn't count too much either. Very simple artwork. You can see what I did for the eyes. Um, if you want to step that up and do something more elaborate or cute, feel free. I think this design would also be fun um, if you put him on a headband and then kind of angled his arms down so they were like hugging your head or even like tied the um, claws down onto the headband so it was really holding the headband. I think this would be a really cute little hat um, which if you're doing anything like a Mardi Gras festival or something like that or a crawfish boil um, people are going to want to have their hands free and so this would be a great wearable that would go with the theme and everyone would love to have one of these on their heads. <laughs> I can see it now. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this design and also what suggestions for other balloon animals or characters that you would like to see me do a tutorial on next. I love reading your comments and taking your suggestions and I would love to see your take on this design over in our free Facebook group this week. You can share pictures of the week's tutorial over there and we can all see what everyone's working on and um, any new kind of adaptations or different colors that you choose to make your design in it's always fun to see what you guys are doing in there I will be drawing some clip art for this guy so make sure you check out our clip art store if you want to get this on your menu so your customers know that they can ask you for one of these or join the twister hood it is our balloon twisting membership that helps you with your balloon twisting business to start one or grow your existing business and um, members have access to my full clip art vault with I think it's over 600 clip art images now for every tutorial I've made on YouTube and then some more things plus all the member exclusive content and tutorials that are in there as well um, it's there's a lot so it's a great resource for balloon twisters and it's I built it because it's something that I wish I would have had when I was building my business and anything I can think of that um, I would need to use in my own business, I create it and then I make those resources available for our members as well. So it's just a wealth of information and tools and exclusive content over there. So if you wanna check it out, the link is down in the description below. I hope to see you guys back here again next week. Until then, I'll be hanging out with you in our free Facebook group and looking forward to your photos this week. Everybody have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye.